Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Between our visitors and our home team. With that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between our visitors and our home team. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier. And these guys as competitors, they'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. I read something prepping for this game that he said prior to get into his wallet. But that's what good leadership gives you. You know, at the end of the season. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A big play there on the catch and run. 54 yards. And he'll give it here to his running back. This one goes nowhere. Speed trip, speed trip. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Letting one go deep. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, touchdown. Tennessee. A 22-yard touchdown grab. So now it's the Packers' turn to go on offense for the first time. And out will come the leader of this offense. And that, of course, is their signal caller. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, I think it's pretty obvious that that'll help them win. Throwing to start the drive. Sanders. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. They could not ask for a worse start. You give up a touchdown on the game's opening drive, and then you turn right around and throw the interception on your very first play. And this is where the coaching staff has to earn its money because they've got to calm these guys down a little bit. Just as you noted, a horrendous start both sides of the ball. But now the defense, which gave up an opening drive touchdown, especially with the field position they get to start with, I wouldn't be complaining either. I'd want to get right back out there and get after them because now you have an opportunity to make a big play I'd say I'd let's be aggressive and go after him. Heck of a start at 10. And again this time to the tailback. Now a handoff here to his running back. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing. When you create lost yardage plays. And a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Sanders following the fumble recovery he'll throw guys they'll run on first down Hubbard and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 it's a Carolina first down on a gain of six comes back to the huddle he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble 
A little bit. Sanders to throw on second down. Throwing the out route incomplete. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, it's Hubbard. Every time, won't you? On second down now, it's Hubbard. And if it has to go ahead and run the football in that situation, it's almost a tendency break. Steps away to his left. An effort by him just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Buying time to his left. Oh. Here's Sanders. From the gun, he'll throw. And he's able to find Wallace. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A 14-yard touchdown. As they are now on the board here in the first half. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown-interception ratio is, what, 3-1 to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Back to the 25-yard line. mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. You put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and they come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. Okay. On third down, they'll drop to throw. Finding a safety valve here. Position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Now a throw here to his running back. Big part of any passing offense nowadays. On second down. Of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits, and these creases like they were able to split right there. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the. They'll run on first down. And 11. Second and 11. Oh, he's able to out muscle him here as he pulls it in. And this is going to be another first down. That's a big time play by the defense. Back to throw. Sanders. Going down the middle. To throw is Sanders. On first and ten. Being chased out left. And the Packers are in for the score. So an electrifying run there as he calls his own number and takes it all the way. Brings a new dynamic to this offense, doesn't he? And right now I'm picturing... The offensive coordinator, the head coach in their minds, drawing up some more running plays for this guy because he brings some excitement to this offense. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet defensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people, find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No. First and 10. They'll look to throw. Going to throw right. Let's catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable set. They'll drop the throw. Over the middle complete in the first half. They'll look to throw. That's going to be nine. Second and nine now. That is caught. Good for five. It's third down. Back to throw here. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. From six yards away. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary. Playing a lot deep. Second and one. Dancing to his left. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. 
As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides the opening drive. Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You probably prepared for maybe some change ups you might. Sanders now on third and two. They got him in. It's one. Now Sanders on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A little difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Now left side and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Second and four. On the crossing round, complete. It's Wallace. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. On first down, Glass. Second and six. Toward the end. Situation in there, the defense won the battle. Looking to throw. Sanders. And he's got it. It's caught for the Packers. Touchdown. Now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the first. Matching that point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can... Looking to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Wolf. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Another good. Right back to him on first down. Down. Second and three. And he's got his man on the out route. Four yards the pick. And really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field. So he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out. To and into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. From 17 yards. Drive a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Secondary, they really looked clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And they get the full. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly with an interception. Here's a second and seven. And this is caught. I think he got third down. Now back to throw. Run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about Sanders going to throw again. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. And to give this time to the tailback. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Sanders operating from the gun. Now he'll dump it underneath. 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff here. Second and 10. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And an alley to run. And he... Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. On second down now, it's Hubbard. Now a give, right side, Hubbard. Bit of a surprise that ran it on third and medium, proved to be the right call, first and 10. They'll 
try to run this one in. On second down, it's Hubbard, and he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A great play there in the final minute, and they have taken the lead here in the final minute. The full 75 yards, and time is obviously a huge factor here. First and 10. Throwing for his running back, and he's past the 30 to the 32. They'll look to throw. He's back to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wolf. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.